everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to on this gorgeous Virginia day, oh my goodness, is I'm gonna be working on my little wagon today. And as you saw, I started with this coral colored tablecloth and it's not really doing what I wanted to do quite yet, but I'm hoping that it will settle itself down and I'll be able to <laughs> get it to look the way I want to. If it's like that, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put a little wrought iron chair that I have over next to it. So I'm going to move this whole unit down this way a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, I'm going to try to pull in my wreath that I have up there and uh, my milk can that I did the other day, and there's my chair with the new pillow on it. So <clears throat> we're gonna see how far I can get here today. Where I'm gonna start is I'm gonna put a little bow. This is my old little bear. He's not a Boyd's bear. He's just was a cheap little bear I found. I don't even remember where, you guys. This little fella sits out here all the time in my wagon. And I usually just change the bow around his neck and I sometimes will put a bow around his one of his ankles or her ankles. So that's where I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna tie a bow around his neck. I have some stuff here waiting as you can see in the in the uh wagon already i have a picture sitting up in the in the crate back behind there i have some greenery here that i'm going to take around the top probably and uh i might cut it a little bit and just take a little greenery around the top cut it in half and then put the rest in another the picture i'm not sure where or how this will go but i have another picture here that's going to go somewhere and I have a couple of little bunnies that I had on an old, old, old wreath that I thought I would throw in here. These cute, they're cute. I have two of them like that. And then I've got just some florals, some peach florals, as you can see. And then I'm gonna pull in a little bit of the teal with these roses. So as you can see, this is the wreath that I had that bug hanging on. And I was going to, put this picture, I was going to attach this picture to the wreath, but it's too big. I'm afraid it would hide the wreath too much. So I might just, it, this may just sit down here on the ground like this in some way. I might attach it to this the wheel spoke or something to hold it up. And I'm going to fluff this wreath out a little bit. I took the bug off of it. I don't want the bug out here. It's not the feel I want for out here. But I made this I don't even know when, you guys, a couple of years ago. So that will go back up in that corner, and uh, we'll see what I come up with. It's really not a big deal to do a little, uh, to do a little uh, project like this, and I'm really enjoying sitting out here. I've also got these towels, so I'll try to incorporate them into. Now, if I can find my scissors. I know I brought them out here. I brought everything out here in a heap. <laughs> I've decided I'm probably, other than to put the greenery up over the uh, crate, I'm probably not going to, I'm probably not going to um, put any lights out here right now. This is really light and airy, and I really just want it to be during the day. I'm not going to worry about lights at night. Maybe a candle in my lantern, that'll work. Plus, I have this other little lantern I got at Tractor Supply. Anyway, let me point my camera down here and really put you down a step, maybe, or a couple steps. And see if you can see this little fella here. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is just, let me see, I'm going to use this for around his neck. I'm going to use this ribbon in my... Uh, both of these ribbons in my lantern funky bow topper. So I just want a piece of it to go around his little neck. I think I might actually 
layer these two. Hang on. if I could get this to work. Come here, little dude. Hear my knee crack? <laughs> crack. I'm just going to tie this right around his neck. I need to turn him this way for a second. Left over right. right side out. Cute. It's the little things, you know, it's the little details. I try to tr pay attention to the details, you guys. I think they make a big difference. It might take me a little longer to do things, but I, I really think it makes a difference to pay attention to the details. I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail the ends of this ribbon and do them separately. And I'm gonna do them the wrong way because it's pointing my direction this way, so. doing a little bit of decorating. Let's see what I can come up with. I just said I want this just, you know, hanging kind of over the top. I'll probably bring a, a tie wrap out here and tie wrap that on so it doesn't go flying. And here's this wreath. Old, old, old wreath. I will spray Never Wet over all of this. I will probably tie wrap this wreath onto this crate as well, you guys. This is a bow. I had just these ribbons. I had cut too many to make a bow. And I just, so I may tie this just up there like that. And I have, a little stool. leave that home sweet home right down there. I have a something to hang on there. I'll go get that in a little bit here. And then I just want this kind of, actually I want it coming this way because the lantern is going to sit on this side. I, just think I want that cascading out that way. Now, I may not even cut these. I may just put these in just like this you guys. guys are pink but I think they're cute oh my goodness <laughs> add some blue up in the top there let me go get some tie wraps
It looks super pretty, you guys. Hey y'all, I'm back. I decided that I'm not gonna move my wagon. I like it being closer to the house like that. So, well, let me move this out of the way, just like that. And this is gonna go on the left side of it. I got this flag, well, this holder down in Williamsburg at the Williamsburg Pottery. And this sits out here on my front porch all the time. Sometimes I hang plaques on it, some, and, but I bought some of these. These are not cheap little puppies there at the pottery, but I do have, I think, three of them that I bought. And I'm just gonna make right here, right now, I'm just gonna make a tiered bow out of some buffalo check ribbon that I have. I'm utilizing this that I've purchased off of Amazon. And I just want to make a tiered bow. So I thought, well, why in the world don't I go ahead and do a quick tiered bow tutorial for you guys? So that's what I'm going to do. I want to bring in some of the black and white. I have some in that on my black milk can there. I decided I'm going to leave my little chair over there. And that's what my lantern is going to sit on over there on that side. And then the little blue lantern might very well sit in the chair. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I have this one pin. So just pull out, you know, some ribbon. I'm going to do a four loop tiered bow with three tails on it. Well, probably two tails. I don't know. I might do three. We'll see. Anyway, pull it out of there like that and get back to the beginning. Anyway, take the end of this ribbon Hold it in your hand that is not your dominant hand and make a loop. Now I want you to picture the size of the first two loops, that you want the first two loops to be in your bow. And I want them to be about that big, about that big. You can see I've left myself a good bit of overlap here. And I did that by design because I literally want to overlap it when I come up from this side. That actually might be a little bit too big of a first loop back that down a little bit. Then you come down here and pull this up, overlapping that ribbon. And you wanna go ahead and pinch it together. And that gives you your first two bows, or two loops in your tiered bow. Then I'm not gonna worry about twisting this because it's two-sided ribbon and in this bow it doesn't matter that much. So I'm going to go ahead and you see how I'm twisting that around my forefinger? Twist it around your forefinger, catch it. Catch that piece underneath with your fingers that you're holding the bow shut or the ribbon shut with and accordion it together and that makes your center loop. And there you go, your first two loops. When I say a four loop tiered bow, I mean that I'm gonna want four loops on either side of center. The loop, of course, being this little loop being the center. So I'm going to, ready to start my next row in my tier. I'm going to make a loop and you're going to pull it out about a half an inch longer than this loop. No, not really more than that. And then fold it under and catch it underneath with your fingers. Not gonna worry about twisting in this bow, unless it warrants it, which it did. Your ribbon is gonna be fed the way you want it to be fed, where it need, the way it needs to be fed. So here we go with this loop on this side, same concept. Don't take it out any further than about a half of an inch. And I really just eyeball it. Catch it underneath and accordion it together. And then it got fed this way. So we're gonna make our third loop in our tier, making it a little bit longer than the one before. Catch it underneath, according in it together, pinch it together. And again, it's fed back this way again. And again, make another loop and catch it underneath. And that gives us three a three loop bow so far. And to finish this out, let's do one more loop. Again, no more than half an inch longer. Pinch it together. And it's fed out this way. Same concept, make a loop. Pinch 
pinch it together. Now, I probably want two tails on this, so I'm just gonna pull it out pretty far and kind of grab it from behind and pull it up and makes one big loop. And if I wanted three tails, I'd have three. One, two, three. So I'll decide that maybe when I get it on tied onto there. Get, to, get yourself a pipe cleaner and feed it underneath the loop but over your thumb. Grab it with your thumb, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Use the hand that you're holding it shut with resistance just like you do on a funky bow and twist. Twist, twist, twist. Here we have a pretty little tiered bow. Let me cut this, and let me cut this big loop I made in half. And as with any, other, I've used this for so much, you guys. 50 yards goes a long way. <laughs> but like with any other bow, the most important part is the fluffing. So. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Pretty little bow. And go ahead and tie it on here. Lift you guys up here. Well, maybe down here. I have done a funky bow swag for this. I don't think I will this time. I think it looks pretty just as is. And I think I could leave three tails on this. Looks pretty, huh? Now I'm going to cut them a little shorter than the top of my little thing here. Come over here. Camera angles, y'all know? <laughs> it is difficult sometimes. Okay. What I want to do is I want to cut this up higher than... this little polka dotted bow is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right above, you see the tip of this dovetail? I'm gonna go right mm, about a quarter of an inch above that and cut this side at an angle going up that way. And then on this side, cut it at an angle going up that way. And see that effect? Not that the wind won't blow them, but I just think that's pretty. So there we go, a little tiered bow tutorial in with this one. <laughs> All right, let me set this into place back here. Okie dokie, you guys. <laughs> this is done. I'm very happy with it. So soft, so pretty. And uh, by the way, I am thinking, if I haven't said it yet, I don't remember if I have or not, but I am planning to do a uh, mini outdoor home tour when I'm finished decorating out here. Of course, you will have seen just like inside, you will have seen all the little vignettes and everything that I've made to go out here. But I will walk you up the driveway, you know, from the mailbox up the driveway down the sidewalk and up on the front porch. We really don't have a lot of plants in or anything yet, but uh, you know, maybe Chris will have a Gerber I can put out here. <laughs> but I'll give you an all over look at everything, you know. So uh, and that will be probably a very short little video, but it'll give you kind of a look. I'll give you a peek out back. Nothing's going out there either, you know, but I'll let you see the patio and, you know, that kind of stuff out there for those of you who have just joined me. By the way, thank you guys so, 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 so very much for all of your comments, all of your sweet words, all of your support. 
all of everything that you guys give me on a daily basis. I appreciate you old subbies, subbies who have been with me for a while, and those that just joined me. Thank you so much to all of you. <laughs> Alrighty, with all of that said here, let me do some final words. So I'll just say, that I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>